Buenos Dias from Guatemala City. Not that you could probably tell because I'm in this little mall right now behind me. There's a shop called Payes and that is a supermarket and I've struggled to find a big supermarket anywhere around here and this morning I just randomly stumbled upon this place whilst I was going in Sarita that do the best milkshakes got a banana one this morning had a uh, strawberry and a chocolate one yesterday honestly I wish they had them in England they're so good but one of the best ways of determining the cost of living in a place is by going in the supermarket and seeing how much things cost. So I'm gonna head into Pais, have a little look around. We'll take a look at a few of the products, price them up, and uh, we'll compare them to home and see how expensive Guatemala is. So uh, let's head inside. So in Guatemala, you have to scan your wrist to make sure Hola. you have to scan your wrist to make sure you're at an appropriate temperature if you're above a certain level um, I think you're flagged for COVID but like I say this is a supermarket so uh, as you can see again much like in Panama um, not in Panama in El Salvador all the fruit and veg is laid out perfectly um, which you don't really get in England. Everything looks really colourful, well thought out, well placed. And um, yeah, it does, it does make a difference in my opinion. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find something here. Um, oh, actually, just as a reference point, 10 quetzal, uh, quetzales, which is the, or quetzals, quetzales, I think it's called, which is the national currency here, which is named after the quetzal bird, uh, which is the national bird of Guatemala. Uh, it's roughly equivalent to a pound, so 10 quetzales to a pound, nice and easy uh, for, for currency conversions. Um, I will start off by looking at these uh, cherry tomatoes, so you get punnets of cherry tomatoes at home, and here they are 20.9 uh, quetzal, uh, 20 quetzales, which is about uh, 21 pence which is a million miles cheaper at home, something like that will probably set you back maybe one pound twenty. So, Tomatoes definitely cheaper. Peppers, that's a good one as well. Again, I don't know. I think that, I don't know whether that's for carrots, but if that's in the right place, a multi pack of peppers. These are about a quid at Tesco at home. A multi pack of peppers at twenty two, which is twenty two p. So you can already see how cheap things are. Uh, banana. It says banana lb. So I don't know if that's for a pound. One point five five quetzales. I'm guessing that's for one maybe. Surely that can't be a penny for a, um, for that, I doubt it anyway, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll carry on, oh here we go, here's something I know what the price is at home, beer, so Gallo, that's the national beer, six pack is uh, about four pounds, so four pounds for a six pack of beer, that's very good, I reckon four pounds at home will maybe get you a four pack of beer, six packs are usually five or six quid so it's a bit cheaper to get your drink on in um in guatemala but it's, it's actually a decent beer you know i've had the i've had it on draft i've had it out of bottles yeah, on draft it's very good and they've got nice glasses like big tankards uh, with the gallo logo on so i rate that uh, these are like mexican beers here and um, so you got modelo which i uh, i had last year in mexico and corona and uh, corona and modelo in this part of the world taste much better I think it's brewed under license at home, but here it's just, yeah, it's just much. I don't know why it tastes better. You think if they're using the same recipe, maybe it's where they source their ingredients from and stuff, but um, Mexican beer in Central America in, in Mexico, uh, just, I don't know, just tastes better than at home for some reason. Um, here we do have Pepsi Blue. So I didn't know whether this was exclusive to El Salvador, um, but we have Pepsi Blue here, which is like a, I, I, I tried it the other day, it's like a blue raspberry flavour of, of Pepsi. Um, it doesn't taste like the regular cola drink at all, it literally just tastes like blue raspberry soda. Um, and here it's like £10.90 for a two litre bottle. So a two litre bottle of Pepsi Max at home is probably £1.50, £2, something like that. Here it's £1.10. So that's actually not bad. Um, at all, I don't know if that security guard, uh, security guard there, he's just coming stood there and he's like staring at me, so I don't know whether he thinks I'm uh, doing something, well, I'm doing something weird, I don't know if he thinks I'm trying to rob something, which would be a bit stupid as I'm filming myself doing it, but uh, who knows, right, we're on to the, uh, we're on to the old, what have we got here, 
<coughs> got some liqueur. I need something that I know the price of at home, roughly. Bacardi Gold, maybe about 20, well, a litre of it, certainly, maybe about 20, 20, 25 quid at home, something like that. Maybe about 20 quid if it's on offer. Here, eight pound. Uh, <coughs> well, eight pound 15, basically. And at home, and in El Salvador, like when I was looking the other day, the, the liquor, most of the liquor was so much cheaper here. It's particularly the rum. Um, again, I don't know if it's because they produce it in this part of the world, so the import charges aren't as much. Um, whereas something like this, this Shivas Regal, um, it's, it's from Scotland, and that's £35.50 here, which at home, it might even be a little bit cheaper. I think that must be the... That's the age 13 years one, that's like a premium one. This is the regular one, £24, so that's probably on par with home. Um, and like Glen, Glen Fiddick, uh, £36.50, I would say that's more expensive than at home, I'm sure that's in like the, the £20 range. Um, so yeah, it must, it must be to do with the import charges and stuff. It's like here, Johnny Walker Red Label, 134 and you get a free uh, glass with it. That's like, you know, £13.50 for a Johnny Walker and the glass yeah at home it's like again in the 20s something like that so definitely much cheaper here for liquor that's not produced in Europe I think I think that's sort of how it's priced um, we'll take a look down here you've got some uh, some cool meats Serrano ham bit of tapas there that's six quid that's quite expensive meat but well, that's probably like premium meat to be fair. Like your regular ham, £2.80. I would say that's very expensive. The meat in here seems to cost quite a lot for some reason. Um, the cheese as well, six quid for that block of cheese. I mean, it's quite a big block. This small thing of Parmesan, 44, so £4.50 for that. The meat and cheese seems very expensive in here for whatever reason, but there you, there you have it, it's obviously decent quality um, moving on anyway and yeah just like uh, I said before um, that security guard behind me is definitely following me 100% because um, he keeps looking at me and he keeps following me around the store so he must be another thing here we've got Pepsi so a bottle of Pepsi so this is a 600ml bottle we have like 500ml bottles at home uh, that's 580 so 58p 60p let's just call it um, that's much cheaper than I know. Same with the, the cans as well, £3.90, so 40 pence for a, a can of Pepsi. Um, whereas at home it'll probably set you back now a quid, something like that. Uh, Coca-Cola is, uh, is, is roughly the same, maybe a tad more expensive. So a can, which again is, is 24 mils bigger than at home, uh, is 51p. And a bottle is 7.15, so that's 72p, so not that bad. Uh, not that badly priced at all, so definitely cheaper um, for things like drinks, um, liquor, and obviously more expensive for meat and cheese for whatever reason. Um, and obviously tapas is synonymous with Spain and this is a former Spanish colony. So you will think things like that will be a bit cheaper, but hey, maybe again, it's, it's something they've got to import and therefore it makes it more expensive. One thing they don't really have at home, they do have it, but um, not like they do here, it's, it's Gatorade and I really like Gatorade. It's a decent drink and it, uh, again it's like a quid for one of these massive bottles, 75p for a smaller one. Um, and I know that's a lot cheaper than in America because when I've got it in America before, it's definitely not that cheap. So um, yeah, drinks here, like your soft drinks, much, much cheaper than at home. Here we've got cool, uh, cool shelf with all the cereals on. I had some of this the other day, uh, like the chocolate frosties with uh, marshmallows in uh, and I wasn't a big fan if I'm being honest it's th this stuff here but a box like a big box like that's three quid now something something like that at home that'd be setting you back like a fiver at least probably even more because I think it'd be something that's probably brought in from um, America that you probably won't produce at home uh, such as this like Lucky Charms like this Lucky Charms I'm sure at home is like five or six pounds easily here uh, just over £3.50, £3.70, £3.80, something like that. So a lot, again, a lot cheaper. Um, you're probably looking about two thirds of the price for cereal. And then they have these things, which we don't really have at home, you know, like big bags of cereal. 
maybe they have them in places like Costco, but you won't really find them in a, a normal supermarket. Um, and one thing as well, Nesquik. So Nesquik again with a free bowl, two quid, probably about three at home. So cereal, about two thirds of the price in Guatemala um, compared to the UK. One thing I do need actually is some uh, anti-pacement, some bow spray. So we'll be getting some of that. Oh, one of my faves. Yeah, our ketchup is super cheap. So you've got all these varieties. Pollo Campero, that's uh, the chicken restaurant I went to in El Salvador. It's originally from El Salvador, but they have locations all over the world. Um, and you've got like this ketchup, which is my favorite. Now a, bit, a bottle like this in the UK, how, how much is in there? Does it say, does it say? Uh, oh yeah, 567 grams, 20 fluid ounces, which I don't really know what the conversion rate for that is. But to buy a ketchup like that, £2.50, £3 easily. Here, £1.50. So if you like your uh, if you like your sauces, you need to get down to where uh, you need to get down to Payas in uh, Guatemala City because you get it uh, you get it cheap there. Same with the uh, mayonnaise. So here we've got Hellman's mayonnaise which isn't in like a, a jar or a bottle at home it's in like a, a pouch uh, it's three for two and it's only 90 95p for 400 grams so you know for you get 1.2 uh, kilograms for two pounds basically which again that did the value just all match now I know that's on offer but still that's incredible value compared to you know what we're used to at home again the security guard i keep seeing him just in the corner of my eye creeping around i'm not gonna roll anything i actually do need to buy one thing but that's about it uh, what else do we have here we've got more cheese again this is like the great like great oh like big bag of grated mozzarella two for 11 quid so that's pretty fair when you think of how much is in there that's probably not too bad, 5.50 each. We don't really have massive bags of cheese like that at home, so I can't really compare very well. Sliced cheese here. Like the, the you know, like the processed American type stuff. It's about a quid. One pound ten. So that's probably similar to home. I reckon that's probably you could get cheese slices for about a pound um, at home. What do, what do we have here? Got like cream, whipping cream. Again, I don't know the price of this stuff. Yogurts. Yogurt, 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 drink, yogurt, drink. Let's have a look at this. So that's 15, so that's £1.50 for some uh, strawberry yogurt drink. For a yogurt drink that big at home, we're looking at like three quid. Um, and a yogurt pot like this. So you've got apple, strawberry, 250, a yogurt pot like that at home, like a big one. Are we talking three, four quid? So a little, just a little bit cheaper, not not too much. Oh my god, these are the things off there. Uh, off Stranger Things, you know that uh, L eats Eggos, like uh, frozen waffles. Presumably, uh, do them in frozen cinnamon toast. It says, presumably you do them in the toaster or something, and uh, they melt on a four. I've never had them before. I kind of want them though. You know, just when you see something like uh, on like an American TV show or whatever, and then you automatically you're just like, oh, I want to want to try that one day. So I could get some Eggos, but I don't have a toaster in my room, so that would be a uh, that would be no good really. They got a decent just just like it the Walmart in um, El Salvador. They've got a decent range of like syrups and stuff. So you've got your your traditional like your Aunt Jemima. Like your Canadian sort of maple syrup type stuff and your Hershey's syrup, your chocolate, your strawberry, your caramel. I don't know what this security card, honestly, I don't know what you think I'm gonna do. I'm like literally filming stuff. It's not like I'm, you know, like creeping around, like like keeping a lookout for, for him. He just keeps appearing as if like I'm gonna steal anything, but there you go. So here we've got, let's have a look at this one. So this is a, like a European style of Jesus Christ, that's long two for 350 oh i don't know it seems quite expensive that actually two for 350 this is a bit more like it one pound 50 for that bimbo bread these one pound 80 for 10 european style hot dogs so that's that's I suppose on par with it at home the bread seems a little bit more expensive here so like for example we've got um two European style loaves they are big loaves to be fair um on offer two for 350 but at home they're probably about a quid 
each then so um yeah i don't know it, it just seems very expensive that for some reason and you've got a whole meal bread here two pound thirty again expensive they don't look too bad these like massive massive hot dog buns one pound twenty they're dirt they're like not dirt cheap but um they're probably a bit cheaper than at home um, especially considering like the size of them you got pan victorias whatever they are two four six eight ten more big hot dog buns um god they love the hot dog buns in here got loads of hot dog buns in here um i hope just thinking about it i hope i've been dividing all the prices but right um you kind of get carried away like i'm looking at stuff like here one pound eighty for pringles that seems quite a lot that seems quite a lot actually whereas on offer they're probably about one pound fifty one pound eighty at home and the, the tubs are a bit taller so uh that's dampened me spirits a bit coming to what i thought was like the offer section here but the things seem to be a little bit more expensive do you like the bakery stuff here six pack of muffins 150. Mm. so so oh baguette two for a pound quite big baguettes they're cheap they're cheap at home you get one of them for a quid um two we'll set you back obviously <laughs> two pound two times that great mass um, we'll go and have a look actually for the thing I, I came in here for um, So is it down there? It's got toilet roll and stuff. Nope. Not down that one uh, Not down that one either because that's like your pet food Household stuff so Cleaning the toilet doing the garden Is it down there? No again more cleaning up stuff. Oh could be down here We have I oh, know it's the air uh, It's like the baby stuff yeah, baby food, baby wipes, and then you've got here, oh, this is all like health stuff, you know, like tablets and things, masks, that sort of stuff, so it's not, it must be around the other side, surely. Oh, here we go. So here we have uh, all the space, oh, this is the stuff I use at home. So here, it's two for, two for 41, so two for four pounds that's literally the stuff i use usually it's about one pound eight you put the things a bit bigger at home this one for some reason is a bit more expensive again maybe it's an import thing um how much is it for one three pounds god that is actually quite expensive really but i need it so i don't know if i should grab myself a bargain rather than pay three pounds for one get two pound uh, get two sorry for four pounds I'll, I'll just do it you know what i mean i'm, I'm here i've uh, i've probably annoyed the staff by walking around so i will make a, a decently sized purchase four quid for them uh, oh you've got you've got a lot of the, a lot of the toiletries are the same as at home and I, i'm not i don't mean that as in like trying to make it sound like it's a third world country or something because it's not i just mean in terms of a lot of the stuff we have in our supermarkets at home are the same here like when you go into the cereal aisle the variety is a lot different but here it's actually very very similar obviously just colgate and stuff are massive brands um i obviously don't need any of that stuff <laughs> that's definitely not for me oh one thing we're gonna have a look at down here is a crisp we're on the crisp aisle doritos love a good bag of doritos oh my god so a big bag of doritos one pound 20. so we got nacho at trevido don't know what that means queso accelerado so cheese flaming hot and uh verde radiante so i'm guessing that's like hot green I, I don't know but they are very good price then one pound twenty um when they're not on offer they're about two pounds at home when they are on offer about one pound fifty so uh, slightly cheaper here oh they're good tuckies i had some of them in um el salvador they're unreal actually recommend them they like um like doritos but they're rolled up so if you're ever in central america mexico i think they have them in america go tuckies you can't go wrong with them um I think that's probably the only things I'm really going to comment on because the, I've seen Pringles around there. In fact, here, got a 12 pack of Pringles. God, they're mad, aren't they? They're like them little things you used to get in school. Like their little uh, Pringles holders. Does anyone remember them? Like the little uh, plastic things you put a few Pringles in, put them in your lunchbox and take them to school, or your mum or your dad will put them in your lunchbox and you take them to school. Um, that's what they reminded me of so they're like little individual pringles pots so that's quite a good idea you know you know for um parents doing school dinners or school lunches or pat lunches whatever you want to call them um 
where have we not been down? We've got Oreos, big pack of Oreos. Oreos are cheaper over here, four pound, um, which obviously is a lot to spend on biscuits, but when you're getting two massive packs of Oreos, that actually works out really cheaply, even if Oreos aren't that expensive at home. Um, got anything else down here? Oh, sweets and chocolate. This is what we like to see. Uh, you don't really, I mean, it's hard to compare Hershey's at home because this kind of stuff is imported and you usually find them in like specialist sweet shops so it's gonna naturally be more expensive. These Kit Kat things at home, I'm sure they're about a pound. I'm sure they're a, a quid. And here they're 60, 67 p so yeah, a little bit, a little bit cheaper here. Um, what else we have? Sweets. Again, it's just fine and stuff that I can compare really. Sharks, oh they're good. We have them at home. They're about a pound at home. Seven, 70 p here. I'm gonna get a pack. Let's get one or two packs. I'm gonna get two packs of them. Make my uh, <laughs> make my presence in this store this morning worth it for, for the staff. I bet they can't wait until oh, I leave. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, been down this aisle. So we'll, we'll head. We'll go left and we'll head towards the tills now. Do we have anything here? Nope. We'll head to the tills now. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're here. Sorted. No, no, no grasses. Grasses. She got me change, <laughs> bought me stuff. I bet they're glad I'm out of here now. But yeah, that was uh, a little look. Oh, you can hear the plane outside because we're by the airport. But yeah, I hope uh, that gave you a little bit of insight into how expensive things are here in Guatemala. It was uh, certainly an eye opener on some stuff. Others, such as meat and cheese, were just dead expensive and I wasn't expecting them um, to be that much. I reckon it's a little bit cheaper. Overall, some of the stuff like uh, cereal will, and you know, sauces and things like that, um, will bring the cost of living down a bit. But yeah, I do these videos because they seem to perform well um, and they seem to get a lot of views on my channel. So obviously people are enjoying watching them. Um, so I'll continue to do them for as long as they keep getting views if you did enjoy it yourself don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel because i really appreciate the support as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time